Okay, so I did a video recently about screen copy, which is showing an Android phone on your desktop. And uh, I had the question asked about an iPhone. And uh, so iPhone and iPad use AirPlay uh, to basically send their image. And uh, if you turn on screen mirroring, you can see here Raspberry Pi 4, it comes up on the screen. And if I tap play, and uh, extend it to full screen, you'll see the picture quality is really good, really crisp, really smooth, and just looks great. I'll show it screen copied later on. But I thought it'd be interesting to compare RPI Play, which is the one you install into Linux, uh, to this version, which is in Android. Uh, but before I do that, I had a question about Netflix and Amazon Prime, so I'll come back to this in a minute. Okay, so this is Android 12 on a Raspberry Pi 4, 8 gig. And I did a video the other day showing how to set it up and a few questions I had about whether Amazon Prime works and whether Netflix works. Amazon Prime installed from the Play Store, uh, and if I call up the app, which is, where is it here? It actually works fine, and I put it on the highest quality, and here it is. It's not the best streaming quality, but it's reasonable, and it's watchable, and the audio is good. Now, if I go back to the Play Store, I've just done a search for Disney Plus, and you can see Disney Plus doesn't show up, and also Netflix doesn't show up. I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure why some do and some don't, uh, because this kind of is mimicking like an Android tablet, uh, but you can see no Netflix. So the only way I'm gonna be able to get that is to sideload it. So I would do a search for, uh, on the internet for APK Pure. So let's do a search for Netflix. and just pick one that's on here. Now, if the first one doesn't work, then I would usually just download another APK. So let's download that and download. And you can slide down to see your download. It did start downloading uh, another file, and it does this for some reason. It tries to download a bin file. Um, so if it does that, just try it again. Try it a second time, and you can see here the one that says Netflix APK is the one I want. So download complete. If I click on it, I think it will ask me if I want to install it anyway. So I need to install from unknown sources. So I'm going to say yes. Obviously do this at your own risk and install. Okay, so it seemed to install all right. So let's open that up. And it's come up with this message about downloading Go. So you can actually use this without an internet connection. You can download it when you've got an internet connection, but then you could take your Pi to a hotel, plug it into a TV and use it. Uh, I'm just going to say OK. Just find something that I know I can show. Uh, in fact, let's play a bit of Afterlife. So you can see it's definitely working, the audio's fine. Actually, the quality, I think, looks better than Prime as well. But uh, let's get back to the AirPlay mirroring, because I just wanted to show that, and I just wanted to clear it up that you can install uh, things, but sometimes you have to sideload them, sometimes you can get them from the Google Play Store. But let me know what video apps you have and haven't had working uh, with Android 12 on the Raspberry Pi. So back to uh, Android 12, and just to show you the first one that I've got. So this is Air Receiver. Now, if we go to the Play Store and type Air Receiver, the only reason it came up is because I must have bought it years ago. I, I can't even remember when I bought it. Oh, yeah, so this one here, the Air Receiver by Felix Long. And I think it showed up as £1.99. <laughs> and I've made a comment, which is uh, interesting, from 2016. Great airplay mirroring, surprisingly smooth from iPhone 5S through cheap, low-spec Google TV stick. Also worked well on Chewy. VI8 budget tablet. So that's on there um, and you just open it and it stays, you can see it stays in the top bar here. Um, and so if I come back out of screen capture and show you my iPad. So again, if I slide down uh, and switch on screen mirroring, pick my Raspberry Pi, instantly it comes up on the screen. I can then show anything I want, basically pretty much anything. Occasionally you get things that are blocked from AirPlay mirroring, but most things work. So if I call up Safari, because uh, I just looked up how long I've had AirPlay mirroring and uh, the second gen Apple TV came out in September the 1st, 2010 and I would have had an iPhone 4S at that time and it's, I've used it ever since really, it's a great feature. One of the things we use it for at the moment is um, for the game Wordle, um, so basically my wife and I play it at the same time so what I'll do is I'll put it on the TV and uh, I'll be typing it in and we're guessing together and it's just a really good 
handy use for it. Um, but also, say for instance, I had, uh, I don't know, we were looking at houses and I wanted to show one up, uh, or if I wanted to show a TikTok video that I found, I'd usually save it to my camera roll, and then I would click on it, and uh, I would play it to everybody who's in the room, and you can see it's playing on the screen there. You can see sometimes when it's airplaying, it doesn't show on the iPad, uh, it only shows on the screen. It depends on the app and what it's doing, but a lot of the time they do that for better video performance. So yeah, basically anything I want to show, I can call it up on the screen and uh, it's a really, really handy feature. So I'm going to basically show the quality of this uh, streaming from YouTube uh, and I'll do it with this app. Uh, through Android, but I'll also show it by, with RPI Play, and I'll do it side by side to see what the quality difference is, really. So this is full screen, 1080. Let's hit play and go full screen. So you just watched the Android app, uh, and that was playing from my iPad. This is now Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit, and uh, I've got RPI Play installed in here. If you want to know how to install this, uh, I've got a separate video, and have a look at this video, and it shows you how to install it with PyKiss. Really, really simple. So if I go to System Tools, I have RPI Play here, and it will turn my screen black when I press Enter. And if you're wondering what this is in the side of my device, uh, it's just a USB-C adapter with an SD card reader. I've got a micro SD card in here because when I transfer my screen capture footage from my capture device, uh, I plug it into my iPad and just import it and then I can play around with it and I can edit the video. Okay, so I've just done the RPI Play recording to be able to show them side by side and I'll show that at the end of this video. Um, and, it, and it worked fine, but there was a bit of stuttering in it, so it isn't as smooth. So if I go back to the YouTube clip uh, and go back to the beginning, hit play, uh, and call it up, you'll be able to see, or full screen, you'll be able to see it's just got a bit of stutter there. Obviously it's not happening on the iPad, um, but every now and then it just kind of stutters. So it's not really suitable for watching videos through. I mean, the odd TikTok video or something like that would be fine. Uh, it's certainly fine for something like Wordle because uh, it is pretty responsive, but it's definitely not as responsive as the Android app. Uh, and that was what I was thinking, that was what I was thinking it was going to turn up as. I couldn't remember RPI Play being as good and as responsive, but, uh, but still good nonetheless. But anyway, I'll show you the side by side. Uh, but thanks very much for watching. I hope all this helps. Please like and subscribe.